Yo, greetings friends, it's Sunday and the wind has just begun. That thing is ripping it round. I'm not sure how much power it's going to be making. We'll go check in a second. Worth noting, the wind is coming from a suboptimal direction, partially blocked by those trees. But it seems to be picking up the wind very well. Sweet. I want to show you this thing that I've made using this temperature control device that I got off Amazon. I've got the temperature probe actually in this bucket of sand, which has the dump load in from the wind turbine controller. The beauty of it is, that's going to give a constant temperature of the sand, which has already started going up as we're getting a tiny bit of wind. I've also fitted this extremely bright LED strip, which is, these are 2.5 volts each, so theoretically that's 12 and a half volt. At the moment I've got a lithium ion battery running this, but the idea is if it works, to connect it from the wind turbine and then it's an extra load when it's windy. Everything's wired in here, so the green are the two positive to the fans, the two yellows are the negative to the fans, and then you've got the red for the LED strip and the black for the LED strip. The good thing is this will produce 10 amps apparently, so that's good. This in its current form should give an extra load to the wind turbine of about 4 amps, I think, so about 50 watts. There's the end of the temperature probe. So when it, I've got it set at the moment to when it hits 50 degrees centigrade that the fans and the light will come on. I'm waiting for the dump load meter to come on just to show you that that's where the energy is coming from that's going into the bucket. This is what the turbine's making here. There we go. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. It's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it being very windy tonight and then I can show you how bright this LED actually is because that will light up the whole shed. You'll be able to see it from outside. Those two cooling fans will just blow down onto the sand and we'll have a constant reading of what it is here. Like I say, at the moment it's connected to a small homemade lithium-ion battery, but the plan is to have it connected to the wind turbine battery. As you can see, as you can see, sorry, it's taking its sweet ass time, and uh, we need this to start getting hundreds of watts. It's starting to get a little bit windier. See, once this starts getting up to a couple of hundred watts from the, going to the dump load, then it will heat up a lot quicker. I could speed it up by moving the temperature probe, but that would ruin the whole point, wouldn't it? And the ambient temperature is about 5 degrees, so the bucket is dissipating a fair bit of the heat. Seems to be going up fairly quickly now. I'll put it on time lapse. 52 degrees it comes on. Yeah, go on, baby, that's all going in the dump load. Oh, we're getting close now. I'm pretty sure it's going to come on at 52. So we're 121 minutes in. We're on 50 degrees. That's what we need. We need some of that. I'm strong at just the right time. Remember, this is the dump load. That's the turbine. I 
Oh, it's getting close now, my friends. Should be 52.1, it triggers it. We've got 280, 300 going to the dump load. 50, 40, 30, 40, 70. Hey, it came on. Woo! Yes. Thank you. It works a treat. These fans are blowing the gale. I've just noticed only one of the fans is going. So that's cool. That one is definitely going. actually temperature still going up right well that's bye for now folks just a quickie to let you know the turbine seems to be working quite well at the minute that's in from the turbine that's going to the dump load. Sweet, it's going to be super windy tomorrow for sure on Monday. Oh, let's go. Live and out.